Hi guys, this is Dan from Magic Pachinko Restorations with another short video of a vintage pachinko machine. If you enjoy watching these videos, please consider subscribing. I believe there's a, a link right below that you can click on subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Um, comments, likes, love all that stuff. Um, Magic Pachinko Restorations is the website. There's plenty of good information there. Uh, we just redid the, the website to make it look a little nicer. Uh, many kudos to my my wildly intelligent daughter for doing it for me. She did a great job. And my YouTube channel. YouTube channel is YouTube slash at Magic Pachinko. Uh, tons of videos there for information on watching these videos and um, getting information on restoring and how to do things, so on and so forth. So today we're going to feature a 1972 Nisogen Model B. This had a full restoration done to it, so everything gets touched on the machine, including the new playfield. Uh, that old playfield was very heavily water stained. This was probably one of the machines that they took out back and literally took a hose to it and a scrub brush, and that just ruined the, the, the play fields. So let me get this opened up. You can get a better look at the play field inside. So right now the ball out light is on. And when the jackpot um, is made, there's two bulbs in the jackpot chamber that will light this center attraction up. This is a pretty cool center attraction. I've never seen one before. It's got a coil spring in here. Um, so when a ball goes in here, it spins around the coil and drops through and opens this tulip. Uh, very interesting center attraction. Nice four tulip layout and a couple of pay pockets with the, um, uh, the, the blue cloud airplane motif in the back. So let me swing this around and show you the back of it. Uh, always take these cabinets down and sand them smooth. This is beautiful red mahogany, polyurethane. So there's your ball out light. Again, the other two lights are in the, the jackpot chamber. So this is, that's just that, okay. So all of the wiring gets taken care of. Um, I put a 12 volt system on it. So this is plugged into a 12 volt wall warp. Let me just unplug it here. So when you do get your machine, for the first time and you plug it in just the way it sits right now the ball out light will come on there's no balls in the pachinko machine that's dictated by this leaf switch when you do put balls in the machine this would gets pushed down and the light will go off but right now the lights on that's what it's supposed to do your jackpot lights are not on um, they're uh, controlled by this leaf switch but they only come on momentarily when you actually get a win Okay, so that's that's the two different bulbs that will come on. So when you go to load this thing, right here is what's called the ball dump latch. And you want to take this little metal tab right here and push it over so that it latches onto this. When you get the machine, it'll probably be like that, unlatched. You're going to push this over. And what it does is it keeps these two legs from... There's, there's a flat piece in here on the end of these legs, and it creates a bridge that allows the balls to travel over to the jackpot chamber. If this is unlatched, these are swing down. You can see them right here, and it would allow all the balls to go down the exit chute and empty out of the machine, which is the way that you would empty your machine um, if you ever wanted to take all the balls out of it. So first step is to latch that. And then you want to take a handful of your pachinko balls, drop them in the upper hopper. They should travel down the uh, top upper feed chute into the turnaround, into the lower feed chute, into the jackpot, and that's where they stop. Now they'll start to back up. Okay, so another handful of balls. And once you've run a couple of handfuls through, then you can go ahead and, and dump and fill this right up. The, all you want to do is keep a few balls. If you have 500 balls, you want to put 475 of them right up in here. You want to make sure this is completely filled 
This is everything depends on this being completely filled. So if you notice now the ball out light is off because this is lifted up off of that that little switch. Okay, and we're all loaded. The last thing you want to check is to make sure that your seesaw is in the right position. Now, right now, the seesaw is this white piece of plastic that's in here. And right now it's actually sitting at, a, at an angle like this with the right end up and the left end down. If it's the opposite way, that's not what you want. So you're gonna push this little rod right here. You're gonna push up on it and it will take that seesaw and bring it up like that. It's critical that the seesaw is up. When a winning ball comes into the machine, it goes into the seesaw. The seesaw being up catches the ball. It'll tip and let the ball out It'll come down through here, hit the end of the jackpot arm, push the jackpot arm down. The paper clip holds it momentarily. In the meantime, this, these rods in here will open the jackpot. The winning balls go out. The paper clip lifts up, lets the winning ball out, and then the whole system resets. But it's critical that this is up and ready to go. And it's also critical to know that if you're playing and you get a you get a win, but it doesn't pay out, you want to stop playing and check this area right in here because this will be where the ball will be stuck. Um, if you continue to play, all you're going to do is compound the problem. So now we've got the machine primed and ready to go. Again, the, the ball out light is off. So you're going to need something similar to this back here to catch the balls as they exit the machine. The losing ball, the winning ball, both just drop out of the machine. <clears throat> so you're gonna push down, let go. There we go. So that's a win. Um, it's much easier to, to hit the, the tulips when they're open rather than when they're closed. Obviously the pay pockets are harder to hit also. Um, so I'll launch a few more. get a ball to drop right down through here as it will open the tulip so let me cheat this show you what happens when the ball goes in here and it'll it's going to spiral down through that coil which is kind of neat and actually let me do that because it will open the bottom tulip as it goes through let me, uh, let me just cheat that a little bit and run some balls through it. So that's the 1972 Nisogen Model B completely restored. Hope you like it.